okay i'm trying to let my hair air dry so excuse that i will sort it out before i leave the house um i thought before i kind of dive into my day i should probably given the fact that i haven't put anything up here in two years and i'm a little bit more reserved in terms of my like personal life and stuff online i thought i should do a bit of an update because a lot has changed um i live in nottingham now well a little village outside of like the city center um which is amazing because it's two hours from Manchester, two and a half hours from North Wales, two hours from London. So I'm very, like I feel at the centre of everything. I kind of am, I'm, I'm basically in the centre of the UK. And we've been in this house for a year now, so it feels like home. Like it doesn't just feel like a house, it is our home. I've trained to be a yoga teacher, so yoga is now a really big part of my life, both in terms of like my own personal practice, but the fact that I teach people as well. Uh, my in-person classes are starting in January so yeah loads to look forward to and plan for that. I've also started doing online events so yoga but also mindset workshops, wellbeing workshops and things like that and that is my plan for the new year as well. <clears throat> I say new year, the whole of next year and beyond like it's what I really enjoy doing. I keep having to have water breaks because you've probably noticed but my voice is very croaky this morning. I think it's partly due to the fact that it's quite early still but because the seasons have changed and it's got a lot colder here my body can't take it moved to nottingham trained to be a yoga teacher another big thing that's kind of i'm in the midst of it right now i am about to go freelance so i've worked at a digital agency for the past nearly three years i started the week that the uk went into lockdown which was interesting and yeah i've decided to fully do my own thing which given the current climate yes it feels very scary but i'm also like this is something i've thought about for a very long time and i feel like i'm finally ready for it we will see i'm very open to the fact that things can change things do change but i really just want to give it a good go and yeah, I think that's most things. Probably another big thing actually at the moment, my husband is away with work and it's for quite an extended period of time, but we're fine, we've done longer. We've done a lot longer. We've done more than double the amount of time in terms of not seeing each other that he's away for. So actually it's not that long. And I'm kind of using this time to figure out things within like my work and how I want my freelance life to look, but also, um, in terms of like self-development and it's a period of my life where I've got a lot more time on my hands and um, a lot more time alone which previously has not been good for my mental health but actually this time it feels much different. Very random tasks that I need to do now. I need to put the reg plate back on the car. It fell off. Like why two weeks after Jay has left has that fallen off? Because that is the kind of thing that he would pick up. Like, it's basically his car. Um, <laughs> so I need to go and put that back on. But so lovely, my neighbour saw that that had happened, put a note through my door with instructions and some little things to stick it back on. So after I've done that, I'm going to town for a yoga class from like 10 till 11. And then I have a couple of bits that I need to pick up from town for some gift guys that I'm doing. And I think that that's it. on Instagram if there was any questions and there was a couple so I thought I would answer them. The first one was how do you balance work and mental health? I think it's a very tricky thing to balance. I think that a lot of us especially this year are feeling overwhelmed, overworked, burnt out and I don't think that there is a set thing that works for everyone but something that has been working for me to just find a little bit more balance in my working day is having the morning where I don't look at my phone, I don't do any emails, I, I keep it for me and I do things that are going to make me feel good. Something that I'm trying to live by is that you put as much effort into self-care and everything that you do for your well-being as much as you do work because I actually, I enjoy work, I like what I do. Having this mentality has really helped me because I'm often conflicted where I really like work, like I love what I do and I want to work hard but then equally 
I understand how important it is to rest and it's just like fundamental to everything. So when I think like that, it allows me to, I mean, I, it, it's very rare that I get it right and meet in the middle. I think that is difficult, but it gives me more perspective in terms of, well, if I'm putting this much effort into work, I also need to do it for self-care as well. That's my thinking anyway. How do you find balance when working and creating content? I find it hard to make the time. <laughs> Again, this whole word about balance, I think it's actually really misleading because I think it gives us the idea that it's totally doable for you to be able to work full time and create content or it's totally doable for you to work a 60 hour week and maintain your mental health like it's, it's very difficult to balance life and like I don't even have I don't have kids, I don't have a dog, I don't have big responsibilities that a lot of people do and it is a struggle. What I will say in terms of creating content, something that helped me was the realisation, especially when I was working full time, that I cannot give the same output of people that do this as a full time job, like it's completely unrealistic and I shouldn't put that expectation on myself. So having acknowledging that first, I was like, okay, yeah that makes sense. But also making sure that I give myself moments where I really don't think about content because I was finding that I'd go on a nice walk and all I'd want to do is take pictures of it to share and I was like I'm not living in the moment here because all I'm thinking about is the fact that I can share this with people online. So I think just kind of carving out time for you to not think about either of them because then at least you're kind of recharging and you're not just constantly in that headspace of work because at the end of the day as much as like creating content is fun if it's if it comes a point where you'll know you're getting brand deals or whatever it's work as a source of income so i think just giving yourself grace but then also time away from both of them okay we're in my dining room because i forgot about the fact that the coffee machine is going to be very loud if i stay in there the next question is how do you get yourself to go out on frequent walks i want to but struggle to get myself out I think that the whole thing with going on like a daily walk very much depends on your current lifestyle. So I work from home. So a walk for me is a break. Like it feels really good to just move my legs, go on a walk. Like it, it's basically a massive part of my day. Having said that now it's winter, it is so much more difficult. Like it really is hard, especially when it's raining. A couple of things that have helped me to actually make it easier to go for a walk the first thing is having a route so making sure you know exactly where you want to go and if you do a daily walk stick to that route like when it comes to building these habits it's thinking about making it as easy as possible for yourself so for me another thing i do is keep my wellies by the front door because where i go for a walk now it's like raining all the time it's pretty muddy so that means that well they're right there it kind of reminds me to do it but then i think if you like work in a city or you're out at work all day it's much more difficult to go for a daily walk like where do you fit that in so i think think about whether that actually fits with your lifestyle um but yeah it's really difficult this time of year this homemade granola is so much cheaper and it's really easy to make I'm here, I'm parked up, I'm 20 minutes early. <laughs> I've kind of got to the point in my life where I would much rather be early and just sit and wait than rush around because, I mean, I've missed a yoga class before because I couldn't find parking. So yeah, I like to give myself a bit of time, you know? Can anyone relate to this? I don't think there is anything that tops going out in the morning and then coming home and being able to just chill for the afternoon. I'm going to put on a cosy film, maybe even a Christmas film, and edit and finish this vlog so I can get it up tonight. So this is literally, if you're watching this tonight, this is what I did this morning. You can't get more real time than that. Thank you for watching, if you've made it this far. I did end up getting some stuff from Sostry and Gren, so I might include that in my next vlog because it's all Christmas bits and I might make it a festive one because I'm going to make the house all festive. Um, I'm not getting a tree this year because 
I'm not going to be spending that much time here over Christmas, but I'm definitely getting up a couple of bits. If you liked this video, then subscribe. I will be uploading more regularly. And um, yeah, I hope that you all have a lovely week.